Hi, this is Rebecca with Made Central, and in this video, we're going to discuss closing payroll. When we say closing payroll, what that means in the Made Central world is that you are going to lock the data and make it so that it's no longer editable. And we'll see a screenshot and describe all the different things at the end when we get ready to close payroll here. Um, most people pay weekly, so you would select your pay period uh, for the previous week, for example, and use your payroll cycle from there to, to ensure that your information is correct. And then once you close payroll, you're going to take those stats and enter it into your the system that you use for paying your cleaning professionals to make sure that it matches up and that they get paid properly. So here, again, closing payroll can be done from this board. So I went to company and I went to all reports. And this is just going to take me to everything associated with pay payroll. You've got two options. You can click new pay period and enter the date range, or you can pay click payroll summary real time. They both take you to the same spot. So I'm going to go ahead and click new pay period. So you can see here that it's on the date range of this week. So it's telling me there are pending jobs without timesheets. You cannot close payroll until all pending jobs have timesheets or pending jobs have been canceled. Click here to see pending jobs without timesheets. So it, it's a little stop to let you know that things aren't fully closed for the week you're looking at. So in this example, again, I'm in the test environment, and I'm just going to close payroll for one day as I've completed transactions for clocking in and clocking out and for that day. So this example is just for a day. Normally, it would be set for your previous week. So I'm selecting today's date. I'm going to click Update. You can see that the message has gone away because I don't have any open invoices or jobs without time clocks. You can see here I have one employee that gets paid $15 an hour and they were on the job for an hour and then they had office slash travel time of an hour. So they've got $15 an hour so their gross pay is $30 an hour. So when I'm ready I can go ahead and close payroll for this day. Once you click the close, close payroll button, this is where the explanation comes in. The following data will be locked for the selected date range, jobs, job clocks, day clocks, and breaks. This will also make this pay period visible for technicians within their dashboard. So I'm locking this data for the for the pay period. And so that means that nothing can be changed. And if, for example, you got audited or you needed to view something and make sure the information was correct, you know that once you close payroll, you've closed jobs and you've locked your jobs, job clocks, day clocks, and breaks for that pay period. Okay, I'm ready to confirm. So I'm going to click confirm. And it's closed payroll, closed payroll successfully. You can see that it just updated. Now this is closed and I'm completed closing payroll. Now I can paste. Now I can take this information for my payroll and enter it into my payroll system that I use to pay my employees. Thanks.